Today's gospel reading, relatively long, comes out of the 13th chapter of Matthew, verses 24 to 43 inclusive. Now, in today's gospel reading, Jesus presents three biblical paracopes. He doesn't do this very often. A paracope is a story inside of a story. And Jesus presents these three biblical paracopes to tell us what heaven is like. So just by show of hands, how many people are here hoping not to get to heaven? Okay, no one raised their hand. I give you, give you a round of applause. That was great. Because I said to myself, if they're not paying attention, I think I can catch them by sounding positive and throwing in the negative. But I'm glad that you all want to get to heaven because that's what Jesus Christ is talking about when he talks about the kingdom of heaven is like. Now, there are two ways to get to the kingdom of heaven. One, to lead a good life so that when we die and we take our last breath, we'll be able to gain eternal salvation in heaven forever. But what Jesus Christ is also talking about in these three paracopes, these stories inside of the story, is how can I gain heaven here on earth? I want to taste heaven where I'm living here on earth. I want to feel good about myself. I want to feel good about my life. I want to feel good about my surroundings. I want to say every so often, I am living heaven here on earth. Well, let's take a look at paracope number one, 24th verse of 13th chapter of Matthew. And as we go through these, hopefully you'll see a pattern set up. Now, Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd saying, and here it is. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in the field. What is that actually saying? Jesus is saying the kingdom of heaven isn't just having good seed, but it is take the good seed and you plant it in the field. You do something with what God has given to you. You don't hoard it. You don't waste it. You don't hold on to it. You say to yourself, I've been given blessings from God, and I'm going to use the blessings that I have to benefit myself, to benefit those around me. You know, in life, when you do something nice for someone else, that feels good, doesn't it? And if you do it all the time, you're going to say to yourself, this must be what heaven feels like. I, uh, I'm tasting heaven because I'm feeling good inside of myself to do something with what God has given to you. Now, is this a pattern? Well, let's find out. Let's go to verse uh, 31 of 13th chapter of Matthew. This is the next paracope. Jesus, he, that's Jesus, third person singular, he proposed another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. So what is, is he saying? It isn't just having heaven, just having a mustard seed, but it is to take the mustard seed and sow it in the field. It is to do something with what you have, what you've been given. Not to hoard it, not to waste it, not to hold on to it, not to lock it inside of your house, but to use it for your benefit and the benefit of those around you. And when you do something for someone else, that's when you feel good inside, especially if it takes great sacrifice to get something from the store for someone who right now can't make it to the store. It's going out of your way. Now you have to go over to their home and give it to them and, and maybe talk with them. But when you go back to your house, you say to yourself, I feel good inside. Because I took the access, the gift that God has given to me, and I did something with them. Let's see if this holds true in the last of these paracopes, verse 33. Now he, that's again Jesus, spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour into the whole batch with leaven. You see the pattern setting up? The kingdom of heaven isn't just having yeast. It is to take the yeast and mix it with the flour to make more than it was in the very beginning, to do something with what God has given to you. Not to hold on to the yeast and never share it with anyone. Not to hoard it, not to waste it, but say to yourself, I have this and I have wheat flour. If I mix them together, I can make more together than I can if I keep them separate. That's what heaven is like. Earthly heaven. Did, did you see and you understand the pattern of these three paracotes? If you want to taste what heaven is like right here on earth. Now, obviously, we all want to get to heaven when we take our last breath and, and when it's all over. So I can experience that forever. But I want to live and I want to feel heaven here on earth. But how? By doing things for others by taking the gifts God has given to you and saying to yourself, I'm not going to hold on to them, I'm not going to hoard them, 
I'm not going to be selfish, but I'm going to share with others what I have in my life, and that's going to allow you to feel good. If you want to feel peace and contentment and tranquility and happiness in your heart, how? By looking at all the stuff you have and making sure it stays in a bank, it stays in a house, and you never share it with someone? No. That never feels good. But when you reach out and you look for someone who needs help in your neighborhood, in your family, among your group of friends, or even a stranger, and you say, how can I help you? How can I assist you? And when they describe how, then you say, okay, I'll do it. I just didn't ask how to find out what you wanted and to leave with that information. I asked how so I could help. And when you help someone else, especially if it takes great sacrifice and following through with the action of the help. That feels good. You can sit back and say, oh, I just feel like I've acquired heaven here on earth. A person who is selfish, a person who hoards, a person who is greedy will never feel heaven here on earth because you can't. But a person decides to be unselfish, to be giving, to try to help others out, to take what they have, the good seed, the mustard seed, the planet, to use it for the benefit of yourself and others, that's when you really begin to feel heaven. It reminds me of this pig and this cow. The pig and a cow, they're out on a farm and one day they're having a conversation. The pig is horrible inside. The pig is saying to himself, no one ever thanks me for anything I do. I never hear one thank you. So the pig went over to the cow and he said, you know, Mr. Cow, uh, you're really one lucky guy. We both give things to people, but everyone's always thanking you, Mr. Cow. No one ever says thank you to me. I never hear a thank you. The pig looks at the cow and he said, you know, Mr. Cow, you give people milk to drink, Milk to make ice cream, milk to make cheese, and everyone thanks you. I, on the other hand, I give people a lot. I give people ham for supper. I give people bread, bacon for breakfast. Some people even enjoy my feet for some reason. Yet no one ever thanks me. I never hear a thank you. And the cow said to the pig, you know the difference, don't you? And he said, no. And the cow said to the pig, this is the difference. I, the cow, Mr. Cow, I give the people while I am alive, and I hear the thank yous. You, Mr. Pig, you only give the people when you're dead, and then you never hear the thank yous. That's the difference. That's the challenge Jesus is offering all of us this morning and for the rest of our lives. If you want to hear thank yous from people and you want to feel good about yourself, you need to do things for people while you are alive. What good is it to hold on to everything? No one gets anything while I'm alive, and then when I'm dead, I, I have a will and it'll distribute all this stuff. But maybe some of the folks in your life need some of that right now. Not when you're dead. Maybe that time they'll already be out of their, their jam and they won't need any help or any assistance. Jesus gives three great paracles what the kingdom of heaven is like. And if you want to experience heaven right here on earth, to taste it, it's fleeting and it doesn't last, but if you want to taste it, there's only one way to taste it. To give to others what you have now, not later when you're dead, not hoarding, not wasting what you have, but to use what you have for the benefit of yourself and for others. And if you do that, You'll be able to say to yourself, I can't wait till I die to get to heaven. Why? Because I have tasted heaven here on earth.